Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rattle Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope that this video finds you well. In today's episode, I'm going to be letting you know about five amazing niche brands that are available at Scent Explore 2020. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I tell you about five amazing niche fragrance brands that are available at Scent Explore 2020, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews, top lists, giveaways, unboxings, and pretty much anything having to do with fragrances, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. So Scent Explorer is an event that was started and founded by Max Forti. He also has his own channel here on YouTube. Obviously, he's been making fragrance related content for many years, and he had the idea to come up with this event called Scent Explorer. Now, within this event, Event, he would talk about a variety of different both designer and niche brands but mostly niche in India I would say and I remember attending the first Scent Explorer last year in the first week of November in 2019 and it was amazing all the brands that were represented and the panelists the people speaking on these panels were so passionate and educated and knowledgeable and they really gave us this behind the curtains look and the sneak peek at what it's like in the industry and you just had the opportunity to explore and experience all of these amazing brands and I remember walking away with a goodie bag and just you know being overwhelmed in the best possible way by all of the people who were attending and I do want to mention that you know this year there is going to be such an event Scent Explore 2020 is happening a lot of you already purchased your tickets which is amazing I look forward to seeing you there virtually, but it will be taking place on December 5th. I'm going to leave all of the information down below with a link to purchase. Tickets are just $29. It's a relatively inexpensive event to attend. The first 1,000 participants or people attending this virtual event will get a gift bag that is, that is inclusive of samples from all of the different brands that are represented at the event. I think it's a total of 18 brands or something like that. He is going to be doing 30 plus full bottle giveaways at the event. And so, you know, you're not gonna walk away empty handed and a lot of people will be there, fellow content creators. Once again, all of the information is gonna be down below if you wanna learn more about it. But of course, we have a lot of fantastic brands that will be represented at the event. And I just wanna take the time to talk to you a little bit about some of these brands and the ones that I personally have experience with and I've owned many of their fragrances. So the first one that I wanna talk about is by Karen NYC. And this one is called Rose Ink. Now this is an amazing, rosy, spicy sort of a fragrance. So you have like the saffron nuance, kind of giving it like a leathery vibe. And I'm a big fan of Karen NYC, Sunday Brunch, 10 a.m. Flirt. Those are fantastic. One of them is tea-based, the other one is a fig-based scent, but they're very pleasant, very bright and fresh and easy to wear. There's also Santal Sky, which has a bit of a similarity to Santal 33, Nitro Noir is another one, but Rose Ink is their most recent release. It's an amazing, rose based fragrance especially if you're a fan of rose spicy rose leathery rose types of perfumes i know frederick mall has one uh, that i think is called rose and queer and that is an amazing fragrance as well this is kind of in that territory if you will and this is one of the brands that i believe was represented at scent explore last year as well so i'm very happy to see that they're making a comeback this year too i should also mention that Max Forti, I actually did an event with him or an IG Live earlier this evening, and he told me that there were close to 800 people who have already purchased a ticket. And so because this giveaway, or because the goodie bag, if you will, will be available to the first 1,000 people to um, join the event, I should mention that now is probably a good time to commit to attending this virtual event. You don't need to be in front of the screen the whole time, but it, it is gonna go from like 1 p.m all the way up until like 11 p.m. So definitely make sure to get your ticket. Be one of the first 1,000 so that you can go home with some kind of a, 
a gift bag, if you will. The next brand that I wanna talk about is one that I'm a big, big fan of. I own two of their fragrances. The brand is Amoroud, and this one is called Eau de Jour. Now, I also love Whetstone, which comes in the white bottle, but that one is a little bit more appropriate for the hotter weather. This bright, fresh, salty, and oceanic type of a fragrance, very organic smelling. But this one is Eau de Jour. This is a very well-blended, easy to pull off oud. There's a touch of sweetness, there's a resinous base. The oud in here is not animalic as it is in a lot of other oud-based fragrances. And so if you're looking for a highly accessible, not commercial or ultra mass appealing in the sense of it smelling cookie cutter or mass manufactured or anything like that, but just very well blended and sharing the spotlight with a lot of these other easy to get along with perfume ingredients, Amoroud's Eau de Jour is amazing. And this is another fantastic brand being represented and showcased at this year's Scent Explore, which is again, an event that is for brands, content creators, perfumistas, you know, fragrance aficionados, pretty much anybody who is in the perfume community. The next brand that I wanna talk about, of course, is Amouage. And this is a fragrance called Overture. This is one of my most recent loves because this is a dark expression from the brand and is definitely the type of fragrance that possesses the quality with which the brand is synonymous. And this is a very dark, smoky kind of a scent. And so it has those spicing nuances, but it's very elegant. It's definitely on the daring side, but it has that spicy quality that I really adore about this fragrance. And so if you're a fan of some of their spicier fragrances, whether we're talking about um, Interlude for Men or Fate Man, I think you will really like this one, although this doesn't have the cumin, if you will, that Fate Man does have. And so this one might be a little bit easier to pull off, but it's an awesome fragrance. Definitely check out Overture for Men. And the women's version, I might add, is actually very good as well. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about comes from a brand that I recently discovered, and this one is by Lectimus. And this is out of the UK, and this one is called Fortuna. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. I love this fragrance. It is definitely animalic leaning, and so it kinda has like this musky, ambergris, civet quality with a lot of warm ingredients in the base, but it's definitely an animalic powerhouse. And so if you like these types of fragrances, I have a feeling this is going to be a love for you. However, if you have not that strong of an affinity to animalic ingredients, I'm sure there are a lot of other fantastic fragrances, like I think Black Caviar is another one. There are a lot of great fragrances that you will love from the brand. The one that I'm talking about here is Fortuna, and this one by the company Precious Liquid is called Blue Agave. So this is their freshest offering in my opinion. They, they do have an orange based one as well. The perfumer for this fragrance is Richard Herpin, uh, who is an amazing perfumer. He's done Oud Wood by Tom Ford. He's done Coney Island by Bond Number no. 9. And he is the perfumer for all of the fragrances in this collection. There is a very large amount of naturals being used in these fragrances, and it even says so on the box. So just keep in mind, if you're a fan of naturals, chances are you're going to find a fragrance that you will absolutely love. They have a citrus offering, they have a rose offering, but here I'm talking about Blue Agave. And so it has this note of agave, but it also has this cardamom note in the opening that I'm picking up on. It also has the woodsiness and the astringent quality of juniper berry, but it's done in a very smooth and likable way. Blue Agave is one of the freshest and easiest to wear fragrances, and is definitely the kind of fragrance that if you're looking for something mass appealing, something that one might call a compliment magnet, I have a feeling you are really, really going to enjoy Blue Agave, one of my favorites from this brand. Although I own about four or five of them, and I can say they all have their own thing about them that is very special, and they're all very, very, very good. There's just something about Blue Agave that it's such an easy fragrance for me to recommend, uh, just because of its mass appeal and because of how accommodating it is. So these are five fantastic brands that you can find at Scent Explore. Of course, there's a total of like 18 brands, there's Memo Paris, and there are tons of other brands that are gonna be there as well. But we have Karen NYC, Amorud, Amouage, of course, Electimus, and Precious Liquid. 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you have the opportunity to attend Scent Explorer 2020 with the myriad of other content creators who will be there, musical performances, discovering new brands, get a gift bag sent home to you as long as you live within the continental United States, and also participate so that you can win some full bottles from various different brands, including some brands that participated last year, but for one reason or another, were not able to get a virtual booth this year because I know Max wanted to keep it somewhere between 15 and 18 brands and he's actually at max capacity and so no pun intended with the max capacity but anyway thank you all so much for watching information is going to be down below i hope to see you there virtually i love you guys stay safe and we'll see you very soon bye